Hey, it's Brickzar, and we're going to look at the Lego wall stickers. This is a item they had on clearance at Lego Shop at Home, Lego Online, whatever you want to call it. And I bought it, and I, when I bought it, I had not really paid attention to these before, and I thought they were stickers, like normal stickers, 8.5 by 11 uh, on a a page like eight and a half by eleven but when I got it is it massive. Uh, these are really large and you get the minifigures, you get some bricks, side profile, and see compare a regular minifigure to these so it's a lot bigger. So it was kind of a surprise to get this uh, and it be so big. And they got it in this big envelope or um, it's got a seal here that you can open on the side where you can take them out and reseal it and put them back in, which is pretty cool. And I'm thinking you get all three pages. Yeah, you do. You get this one, and this one, and this one. Now, I probably should include this in my 2x4 brick month, but it could be a 1x4. I don't know, side profile. It's hard to know. So, we'll see what it looks like on the wall. All right, before I put it on the wall, I'll just show you the item number, 850797. And like I said, they were on clearance because I knocked over the Nesquik bunny. So uh, now we'll go put them on the wall. 850797. All right, I found an obs obscure place in the house to do this. Open up the package. We'll start with the 2x4 brick. See how these things are reached the ball. Okay. It's not very straight. I need a level. Right now. You want to interlock your bricks, see if that works. I don't like how it shows through there. I don't think that's the way the picture looks on the front. Let's put one of the minifigures. All right, so there we go, sticking on the wall. You can stack them. I don't like that the uh, the yellow, the you can see the studs through the brick. Don't like that, but um, they come off the wall. You can put them on there. I don't think they'll do any damage to the wall. I need a free hand. Maybe do damage to the sticker. And they come right off. And then I stuck them back on the sheet. So that's the wall stickers. You can build using all the different patterns they give you, bricks they give you. Let's see what they got. I'll spread them out here on the floor. Uh oh all right this is what we got you get three large sheets with the different bricks you get six minifigures and four animals all right I put all the bricks back on the sheet uh, the guy he's a little crooked in there so I don't know what the long-term effects will be of this being on the wall but they do 
stick to the wall, you, they stick to each other and you can remove them. I'm sure over time the stickiness will wear out if you keep moving them a lot. But um, they seem to be wall safe and they're pretty neat. Um, I don't have any walls in my Lego basement, so maybe when I get the Lego basement finished, we will have these somewhere on the wall or on a shelf or something like that. So that is the Lego wall stickers. They give you an idea of what they are and what you can do with them. And thanks for watching this video. This is Brickzar.